Okay, so now we finish uh, analyzing this free body diagram with the section JD, right? Again, these three internal forces okay, have special names, right? This FJX is called shear force, okay? It's going perpendicular to the direction of JD, okay? It's trying to resist the shearing, okay? Um, at this position. Okay. FJY is called axial force, sometimes called normal force. Okay. Normal to well, the shear direction. Okay. So, going this way. Right. So this axial force is the resistance to okay, any kind of compression or tension. Okay, along the direction of, of this uh, uh, rigid body. M is called bending moment. Okay? So it's a resistance to any kind of potential rotation or bending okay, of this piece, this rigid body. Okay? All right. <clears throat> what about this other section? Okay, section A, J. Well, if you look at the section, it's uh, slightly more complicated than looking at this little section, right? But still doable. At A, you have this, uh, these two right, reaction forces from the ground, same deal, and then you have this force this, uh, from this P, B, E, right? And you have these two forces, reaction forces from this C, F, okay? All right. Now, the important thing here is these three guys at J. Now, same, same as this, right? So this whole you know, free body diagram okay, for this section AJ has to be in equilibrium, which means that these three equations must be satisfied, okay? Which also means that at J, we also have these three things going on. FJX, FJY, and M. Shear force, normal force, and bending moment. It's just that the direction has flipped okay, from this first free body diagram. Okay? FJX here goes to the right. Here, FJX must go to the left. Okay? Just so that in the end, when you combine these two, this FJX and negative FJX will cancel out. Newton's third law. Okay? Boom. FJY here going up, so this FJY goes down. Okay. Bending moment, okay, go clockwise direction. This other bending moment goes counterclockwise. That's all. Okay. So you can use this section AJ to try to find M, FJY, and FJX. Okay. If you know the rest. Okay. And then apply these three equations. And that's it, right? So, really, this this whole chapter is really nothing new, okay? Just like chapter six, it's really nothing new here. You know all the equations, okay? Just that we apply this equation in, in different kinds of situations, okay? Now, let's look at an example. Print some numbers.